Hello and welcome back to IXL Tutorials. This is Mr. Duffick and today we are doing IXL J1 which is just writing a bunch of congruence statements. Okay so if you haven't seen congruence statements before they are very very similar to similarity statements. In fact they're pretty much the same except now we are dealing with congruent shapes instead of similar ones. So they're going to work the same way. We have two shapes right here that are congruent, and congruent, remember, just means the same, or equal, or identical, right? They're, these are just uh, two shapes that are the same. They're, they're the same shape, except this one on the right just seems like it's kind of rotated or something, but it's just the same shape. And we know they're the same shape because, number one, all of the angles have to be the same. So D and I are both 62, C and J are both 118, etc., cetera, etc., cetera. And then unlike similarity, all of these sides have to be the same. So 43 and 43, 33 and 33, 43, 43, 33, 33, 33. So they're all uh, uh, congruent sides and then congruent angles. So all the sides are the same, all the angles are the same. And so we are just gonna write statements that indicate this. And just like similarity statements, whatever is written down on the left side of our congruent statements, the right side has to match up with each individual letter. Okay, so we have C, B, A, D is congruent, that's the little squiggly or tilde, over the equal sign, that's congruent, the same as this. So we'll start with C, and C on this side is this 118 degree angle right there, and that looks like it matches up with angle J. So that means our congruent statement on the right side has to start with J. Then we go to B. Uh, B is just going down, right, going down through the 43-meter side. So we'll start at J and go down through the 43-meter side to K. So K has to be next. Okay, after B is going to be A. So after K is going to be H. And then we're going to stop at D, and then we're going to stop at I. And that is going to be our congruence statement. Just remember, each letter of the left has to correspond with each, with each letter on the right. It has to be the same both ways. Okay. This one, I H J or I H G F. So I looks like this corner right here at the 52 degree angle. We'll say that one is an S. Go to H, we'll go down, that's T. Then across the 33 again to G, so it'll be U. And then finish at the tip up there of F which is just V. Now something I do want to point out is there's not necessarily one correct answer, right? Um, we did start with I and we went to S. We could actually start over at U, right? Because U is going to be the same angle, 52, and then it's really the same uh, placement right there. So uh, this is a, uh, a rhombus, meaning all four sides are the same here. And so really you can start there and move your way and start uh, or start uh, at that point and move your way across like we did there. So it doesn't matter where, just as long as you're consistent and everything matches up. Okay, what are the corresponding parts of the figures below? Select all that apply. Okay, does E, is E congruent to O? We go to E, is that congruent to O? It is 78 uh, equal 59. It definitely does not, so they are not congruent. Uh, decide FG, uh, is it congruent to OP? So is 20 going to be congruent to uh, 20? Yes, it is. Angle G to angle P, so 42 degrees to 42 degrees? Yes. And FG, so 20 to OQ, which is 18? No, it's going to be a big no. Okay, complete the congruent statement again. All right. Uh, J, K, L, M. So we'll start at J. J is at the 39 degree angle. So the 39 degree angle over here is U. So we'll write down U. Then we go to K, which is the 113, which is V over here. Then L, which is 126. We go over here. W is 126. And then we finish at M, which is the 82. We'll go over here. X is at the 82, so X. And it's, it's as uh, simple as that. Okay. So I am going to skip, because these are all pretty much the same. You're just going to be matching the similarity, or the uh, congruence statements. Okay, the highest level at 85 um, does not give you uh, pictures or images. They just give you some written information here. So if triangle RTS is congruent with 
v w x what are the corresponding parts so in a way uh this is uh, this is kind of nice because you don't have an image to distract you because you know all congruent statements need to match up on the left and the right so r is going to be congruent with v t is going to be congruent with w s is going to be congruent with x rt is going to be congruent with vw etc etc right so it's very straightforward our first option here is st and xw so st are the uh, second and third letter in the left side of our statement and xw also the second and third letter of our statement so therefore that is indeed going to be correct. It's the second and the third and the second and the third. Okay, what are the corresponding? Okay, uh, angle T, so the second angle, and W, which is the second angle. Second and second, yes. RT and VW. RT are the first and second, and VW are also the first and second, so yes. And then SR and XV. So SR is the first and third, letters of the left, left uh, statement, and then XV, also the first and third letters. So everything is congruent. Cool. Okay, let's do this one. IFGH congruent with MNOL. So G and L. G is the third letter and L is the fourth letter. So no, they do not match up. They're not congruent. IH, so the first and the fourth letter, and ML, the first and the fourth letter, so yes. GF, so the second and the third, and ON, the second and the third, so yes. And then G and O. G is number three and O is number three as well, so that is correct. Good. Okay, and it's just going to be a series of these problems till the end. So this is where I will stop the video. Stay safe, study hard, and I will catch you for the next IXL tutorial video. Goodbye.